OK. So um, what, we, what we went over last class period, which was to help us solve the word problem, um, was to be able to write this um, as a, um, in our component form with it when we have a direction of an angle, when we have a direction for our angle, as well as a magnitude. And if you guys remember, what we had, what we wrote in there was like v equals the magnitude of v times the cosine of theta i plus the magnitude of v times the sine of theta j. Do you guys remember doing that when we say, hey, you have this vectors at 30 degrees and so forth and had a force of like 300 tons, right? We took that magnitude or that force and we applied it to both of our unit vectors just because you put it in your lap does not change anything. Um, and then we applied that with the angles, OK? So what we're going to want to do is it's, it's asking us in these directions, it says find the component form of the sum of u and v. Put it on the desk face down. Thank you. Did you got this one? OK, because that's what I want you to check. So let's write this in component form. So therefore, u is equal to the magnitude of u, which you already know is 20, times the cosine of our angle u, which is 45 degrees, plus the magnitude of um, u times the sine of 45 degrees. And then let's write v in component form. v is going to be 50 times the cosine of 180 degrees, plus 50 times the sine of 180 degrees. Does anybody have any questions on this? Because this is how we set up our word problems last class period. Yes? You were here last class period? OK. So what is your question on the angles? This is the problem. That is the original problem. The problem gives you the angles. If you look at those two magnitudes, you can see they're, they're provided you with the angles of those two vectors. It's like straight across. Yeah, straight across from it. So now what we want to do is they're asking us to add this. Now, if you guys remember, adding vectors was pretty basic, right? When it was just like u is 3 comma 2 and v is 4 comma 5, that was easy. You just add the v1 u1s and the v2 u2s, right? Um, so adding the vectors was pretty basic in its front. But here, these are not as simple to add, right? However, thankfully for the unit circle, we can evaluate a lot of these points, all right? So over here, so before I get to u and v, let's go and simplify these. So here, I have 20. What is the cosine of 45 degrees? That's going to be the square root of 2 over 2, plus 20 times the square root of 2 over 2. Right, Because the sine of 45 degrees is the exact same. V, I can simplify. Cosine of 180 degrees, <coughs> negative 1. Very good. So that's going to be 50 times negative 1 plus the sine of 180 degrees, 0. So we know, obviously, that's going to be done. right? So I'm going to write these in vector form or in uh, component form for us. Component form of this is going to be 10 square root of 2, comma, 10 square root of 2. If I write this in vector form, negative 50, 0. So I just wrote it, instead of writing it as a linear combination with its unit vectors, or I just now wrote it when, as far as component form. Because I like component form when adding. Because I know that component form when adding, if this is u1, u2, and this is v1, v2, to add u plus v, remember, you just add u1 and v1, and u2 and v2, right? Actually, it goes ahead. Yeah. So therefore, in my answer here, my answer is simply going to be 10 square root of 2 minus 50, comma, 10 square root of 2. Because you just add those two points up. OK? And that's it.